Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm making this video to uh, show you guys the testing of the uh, dual motor, dual blade wind turbine. And I do have these uh, motors hooked up in series. So theoretically, uh, if this made 2 volts and this made 2 volts, well together you should get 4 volts. Uh, but you might have a, a decrease in amperage, uh, which is fine though, so I just want to test this. Uh, so the clip coming up is going to be uh, me testing this guy out, and I think from now on I'm just going to wear my uh, motorcycle helmet just for safety. And the last clip you'll see is of, uh, I'll show you briefly how I have this, this guy hooked up, and I'll show you the size of the motors, because they're really small motors, and I'm I'm really curious what, what they can produce. So. Okay, here is uh, the next couple of me time. Can I think up the fire, please? Um, so that test wasn't too bad. With the motorcycle helmet, uh, thankfully my uh, fear level dropped a little bit, not getting one of these in my uh, 
skull, so that, that helped. But um, the blades started spinning, both of them, right around eight and a half miles an hour, which um, is not too bad because these are the a three inch PVC uh, blade design that I, I've been modifying from the six inch. So these blades are, are super cheap, even though it's uh, one solid blade there. And, uh, okay, they started spinning right around 8.5 miles an hour. And since I had the helmet on, I guess I was a little more fearless. We actually went up to 25 miles an hour, and I actually got 6 volts out of it. So that's uh, still not enough for uh, anything significant for power, you know, to, to charge a a 12 volt battery or anything, you need at least 13. But I think I'm going in the right direction. And uh, like I said, I'm going to show you close up of these motors, but these motors are so small, they're literally about this big. And I'm surprised they even made that much. But the, the blades held, held together pretty good. And I might also try sticking uh, two more blades um, on here. On the same, so it'll be um, you know four blades, or excuse me, well I guess yeah two blades on each each motor here. So you have one there and one going straight across, kind of like I did with the uh, six inch one that I have on the shed there. So let me go ahead and show you these little motors that I was using. Okay, so here's the top motor that I have, and just to show you guys, it's uh, actually about two and three quarter inches across. It's a, a very small radiator motor, and you know, it just has two wires coming out of it. And uh, this is where the fan fan blades were, and I just uh, went ahead and cut those off until I sanded them down a little bit. So there's that one, and let me show you the other one. Okay, so here is the other motor on here, and if I can stop shading that. Uh, this one is also about two and three quarter inches, pretty small motor. And so they're identical in size. The only difference is on the two motors is the, the hub here. This one is a, a rounder hub, which I might have a hard time trying to fit another blade on there. I'm going to have to put a lot of spacers in there, but I think it's something that can be done. And uh, on the other motor, it's, it's flatter, so that one should be as big a deal. So for my... Uh, to make it series, on this motor, the, the black one with the blades spinning the way they are, the black one is negative, the blue one is positive. So the, the black one on here, I hooked up to the positive on the other motor. So I had a positive here, which I hooked up to the multimeter, and I had the negative on the other motor, which I hooked up to the multimeter. So that was my series circuit, basically. So um. I appreciate you watching this video, and uh, I'm going to have some more turbine videos coming, uh, so uh, stay tuned for that. Okay, uh, thank you for watching this video. As always, take care, and God bless.